I think that's every week when you're a defensive coach in the American Conference. Um, but yeah, Navy is a very good offense and they're going to do a lot of multiple things. You know, they're really well coached up there. Coach Ingram, Coach, coach uh, Ivan Jasper, Coach Nehemiah. I've uh, been around for a long time, doing this for a long time. And um, they've seen every look you can throw at them. So, uh, and it's just a different offense so much from what you've seen all season long. You know, our kids have some recall from last year. We've, we've done a, um, Worked in fall camp, worked throughout the season, uh, kept up with it there. But it's just, you know, you've got to get all into it. you got to dive feet head first into it and be ready to go. So you just it takes a few days to kind of get really comfortable with it. And then once they do, they pick up on it pretty, pretty well. And just, you know, you got to keep working, keep preparing, because you can't, you can't get enough reps before Saturday at all the different looks you're going to see. I think one of the, the consensus is that you're probably one of the better guys against this kind of, of offense. Um, what are some of the keys that you have to think about when you're playing that kind of thing? Well, I, I can't remember the last time I made a tackle against this offense, but, uh, you know, the keys is this. You got, you got to be great with your eyes, all right? And you got to, you got to be locked in. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter, like, coaches, what we know. And I guess that's my point. Like, you don't, don't matter what coaches know. It's what you can get those kids to feel comfortable with and the confidence they have about fitting runs up and, and making plays and all those type of things. Um, so, so it doesn't, you know, if, if they feel comfortable, then you got a chance. If they don't feel comfortable, then you're behind it, you know. But, you know, seen a lot over the years. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly of it, on, probably on the other side of the ball and had a lot of practice against it. Uh, but you got to get your kids comfortable and, and ready to play and, and ready for game day there, so. Does the experience from last year help those so many guys back now that they've actually seen it? I mean, because I'm sure you guys try to replicate it, but the game speed is a whole different deal. Yeah, I think, you know, the fact that you've played against it before, um, you know, it's, it's been a whole year, a little over a year, a little over 12 months. But the fact they've seen it, the same the game speed, you know, um, our scouts continuously work on it throughout the season. So that, that helps and their familiarity with it. And they're not, you know, picking up from ground zero on, on first of the week here. So that, that certainly helps. So, and you can pull out that game, the game tape from last year and say, hey, here's certain things we did or we wanted to try to do again and replicate and, and go from there. So you do, certainly do have something to build upon, um, maybe different from a year ago. With their offense, they're maybe not as explosive as they've been in the past, but they've still gone, you know, long drives, like 18, 20 play drives. Yeah. Is that a concern? Even if you execute, they can get three, four yards. Of yeah, I think the, the first drive at Memphis, they went 21 plays and, and stuck in the end zone. I think uh, there's a like 18 play that drive, I think Central Florida or somebody. Uh, so they, they went all the way down the field consistently uh, against very good defenses in our league and, then, and just do a very good job executing. So it doesn't matter. You know, they get the second seven, third and four, fourth and one. They just keep on marching right down the field, and they're disciplined enough to do that. You know, most offenses, um, you know, they want the big play. These guys are, are consistent with just staying on schedule. So some way you got to make a play and, and find a way to get them off schedule. Whether it's uh, second nine, third and eight, third and seven, you know, those are, those are situations where offenses such as, such as Navy uh, don't necessarily like. You know, they'd rather be in third and four, fourth and one, in those situations, but if you can get them behind the sticks a little bit, and that's kind of the key for us is just win the first down um, and, and make them play behind the sticks and, and be uncomfortable. And if they, if you don't do that, you're going to be on the field for a long time, and they're going to make you pay. And you know that, that's what they do. Maintaining discipline in the back end of the defense against a team like Navy, um, you know that's where you can kind of get caught. But I mean, I, they don't throw the ball a whole lot, so. No, they don't. They don't throw. You know, um, but when they do, they make give up big chunks of yards. Uh, especially, you know, if you're asking those guys in the back end to support, 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 um, whether it's cor corner support, safety support, whoever it may be, and then all of a sudden they think they see something, they come flying up to play the run, and, and there goes a eight back bomb or a receiver bomb, uh, then you're in you're in trouble because that could lead to a big play. So then that, that's kind of what they do. They they're gonna make you support, come fit the run, fit this play, fit that play. And all of a sudden, there goes a the play action pass by you. And it's not going to be in a situation where, you know, it's going to be third down where you know the pass is coming. It's going to be a first, second down, you know, a normal down situation. And you don't know it's coming. And all of a sudden, they've got a unique way of, 
uh, getting to it with some of their emotions and disguises there, or maybe hiding a guy on the line of scrimmage or off the line of scrimmage and, and doing certain things like that they've done throughout the year. So we got to have great eye discipline, not only up front, not only with our linebackers, but secondary corners and safeties as well. Yeah, I, I, very comfortable with our players. I mean, they, they can do a lot of different things. You ask them to play coverage, they can play coverage. You ask them to bring pressure, they can bring pr pressure. So they've they've created, you know, helping us be a multiple looks, multiple defense. And, and the guy I give credit more than anybody to that is Jeremy Lewis. The fact he's playing that rush outside backer for us, that he can drop in the coverage, he can play off, off the edge. And I think you got to match up. What What is Memphis's strengths? You know, last week it was, you know, the receivers, number four, leading the conference in, in receptions and yards and all those type of things. So you got to do things to take him away. You know, in the first half he didn't play, but he's out there in the second half. So we were finding different ways to bracket those guys and play coverage. And, you know, you're going to give up something, and it may be a quarterback scramble. Uh, but at the end of the day, we knew that, hey, to, to beat Memphis, we had to double those guys, don't give up the home run, the big play. They may get a scramble, you know, unfortunately more than we like there at the end of the game. But um, him, his scrambling ability, we knew that you keep it in front of you, keep it, keep it down. It wasn't going to be an explosive play. Um, and that's what it's about against Memphis is limiting explosive plays and each and every week for that fact. What was going through your head when they came out and said, all right, we're going for two, it's all or nothing? Uh, it, you know, it's, it's one of those things, and, and our kids were very, very confident in what they were doing. And, you know, we practiced that a ton. You know, as a defensive coach, you, you want to control everything. I guess as a coach in general, you want to co control everything. Um, but it came down to one play. So, all right, here it is, you know, winner to lose it right here. And the kids, you know, did an awesome job of, of just playing the defense, setting the edge, Bruce triggering, you know, Warren clamping it, the corner clamping it. And so they did a nice job passing those things off out there, the, the, the Sam, and then knocking the ball down at the end of the play. And you, you really seen 11 guys out there at the, on that snap that just playing with all-out effort, playing with, you know, everything that our program represents right now and wants to be about, we, we played on that snap. And then just the energy and the excitement on the sideline, those guys coming off. It was a lot of fun, you know, just as to see as coaches, fans, Pirate Nation, and just – a lot, of, a really good experience for those players. In regards to the the triple option, I mean, before you got here, it was twelve back and ECU was really struggled with it. Is there kind of a balance between hey, we really have to be prepared for, but we don't want to like psych ourselves out mentally when we're going against it? I, I think that's for any any offense you face. You know, you if if you don't have confidence going into a ball game that hey, you know, we're prepared, we're ready to roll, we're ready to rock, uh, you're in trouble. You know, and I think that's that's always. Uh, your preparation helps build that confidence, and our guys are doing a great job of, you know, putting themselves in situations, game situations, film, study, walkthroughs, practice, that, hey, this game like, and just a lot of recall there to, to, to build that confidence and, and be ready for Saturday. So, um, you know, you're right. You don't want to like, hey, look at it, like all the best, hey, the, the positive plays. How can we make this play? How am I going to make that play? You know, what should I be doing on this snap? Those type of things. So, and our, our guys know that. Like, they can go watch the film by themselves and know exactly where to fit, where they should be, and, and the play they're going to make. So, they're excited about that. All right, appreciate y'all.